So this is a quick review, a quick impression. I'm going to show off the settings that I have under this television. I'm going to have it on the uh, descriptions. I have it. Uh, I have other videos too. I got the Avenger showing off. I got Raid 2, Kick-Ass 2. I got uh, games, PS3, PS4 games running on this television as well. I will post those links on the description too. So I'm just showing off. Uh, before you know, I start playing the movie, I start playing Netflix or whatever. Um, I'm going to show off my settings. I have it on the dynamic and um, this will be on the description so don't worry about it so if you know we can share our opinions you tell me your settings I tell you your settings right that's that's just wonderful so um, you know backlight goes up to 20 on this television by the way this has motion uh, sensor whatever you call it I really hate it because it gets in the way I like to input everything manually on the controller but you can't turn off the, the motion sensor thing on sucks brightness uh, not too high uh, sharpness color so I have this and then uh, advanced settings is not available there's some there's some stuff that's lacking in, on the settings on this television uh, you know I have color tone digital clean view whatever so on so on uh, the ocean the auto motion plus I don't have I have it off I just don't like it it looks I don't know, it just looks weird. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it. So, um, you know, if someone out there has it on and actually looks good on your TV, please let me know what kind of settings you have it under because, you know, you can set it on standard smooth or customize it yourself. So, if, you know, if there's a, you know, someone out there with an opinion and they want to share, please share. You know, I would like to know. But uh, I had to set it on and it looked weird. Like, then, you know, with the settings, when you when you first get your TVs, it's, it's not going to look that good, you know. You're going to have to set it yourself. You're going to have to set it to your likings. And it's always good to have a matter of opinion of someone else there, too. Like, you know, my brother helped me out. I had a friend that came over that helped me out, too. So, so yeah, the sound on this TV sounds really good, surprisingly. Because a lot of the sound on other TVs, they sound like crap, but the sound on this TV sounds pretty good. I, I really, you know, I upgraded from the LCD, so it's a big difference. And then if you want to set the game mode, I'm just showing off all the settings. And yeah, you could talk to the TV. Hey, you you do this, do that, whatever. I I don't mess with that stuff because I just don't care for that stuff. It's a smart TV. You can get on the web browser. The web browser, to me, in my opinion, sucks. And it's a quad core on this television. So, just the web browser is too slow. I don't use it. I use my, I use my phone or my PC for the for the internet. So, uh, it's, it's not very good, just to let you know. And you go to the generals in order to set a game mode. I usually always set game mode when I play my games. I don't... Uh, no, I just play. I, I just like playing on game mode. That's all. I will show the settings for game mode. And I will have it on the descriptions as well. On the you know my likings. You know, it's all about what you like. What what you what 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 uh what uh, pleases your eye. So this is all that. Like I said, I have other videos up. I will post the links on the description, so you don't have to go through my channel. And I will have uh, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2 playing on this TV next week when it comes out. So I'm going to show off for 300, Rise of the Empire. I just bought it. Uh, like I said, this might not look that, it might not look great. I'm playing on a digital camera. When you watch these movies, you got to stand back to watch them. You can't come up close. It looks like crap. This TV, yes, when you look up. You're going to see all the grain and all that stuff. It doesn't look that good. Some TVs, surprising, the Sony. The Sony 4Ks, I have to say, are best on the market. Sony brought up that technology. They did, they did that themselves. So if you have the money, I recommend you spending, spending on a Sony 4K. There's a 49-inch 4K, and that one has 3D, and it's a Sony. So I highly recommend you get it. Why, why didn't I get it? At the time, it was two thousand dollars. Now I believe it's cheaper. They lowered the price to sixteen or seventeen hundred, I believe. But this is a thousand. I went with this because that's the only thing I could afford. But I can't complain. I really enjoy this TV. I had this TV for almost two months. 
I got it when it first came out from Amazon. So I'm gonna play the movie and I will shut up already. I agree. television is Noah. Surprisingly Noah looks phenomenal in this movie. And Noah is a dark film. So when it's all dark, it's clear. And a lot of these movies when it's dark, it's grainy. But that movie looks phenomenal on this television. The Raid 2, when it's dark, you can see some of the grain. Um, but then again, I think, I believe you could adjust it. But I don't think I will do any justice because, you know, I'm just going to be messing around with the settings so much that, you know, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, let me shut this off and then take it to Netflix. And by the way, HBO Go looks really nice. Uh, Games of Thrones looks excellent. I'm not going to show it off, but uh, the Games of Thrones looks phenomenal on this TV. It's super clear. And also, um, other shows, I, saw, I, I watched the True Detective on this, uh, it's pretty grainy, you know, in some, some scenes. By the way, the inputs, they pick up real quick on the inputs on this TV, it's, it's really good. Alright, um, I already have a video of this on Netflix, I'll just show it off real quick, hopefully it loads up, it wasn't loading before. It's not gonna look that great in the beginning because it's streaming. It looks good now. It seems like they fixed it up. I did a video before, and it wasn't loading. wasn't working. Complaint about it. Seems like you hand this to your car wash professional and have an A one day. Well, 4K on Breaking Bad. It, it looks okay. I, I don't think it looks phenomenal. House of Cards, in my opinion, it looks it looks pretty. It looks it looks okay. To good at, at times. I think this is the best looking movie on 4K that they have available on Netflix. This movie looks really nice. Hopefully the streaming picks up so it can look, so look nice. Come up in the world. Streaming hasn't picked up yet. Yeah, no, see, it looks nice. This is the best 4K movie on that movie. Can't say it's a great movie, but... I ask for a cloud of mystery. This is a wish. He's never had this much power before. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show off too much. And uh, these are the best looking things. These things are awesome. I love playing these. I love watching this. Like I 
I said, the streaming, it picks up the streaming. It's, you know, you have to wait a while for it to actually look really great. Now, I have good internet. My internet's pretty good, so... Get the Sony 4K. Sony 4Ks are they're the monsters, alright? Th th those are the best by far. So um, this is the Samsung 40 inch. It's no this series don't have 3D. It does not have 3D. That's why it's affordable. So um, you know, like I said, descriptions. I'm gonna have the links for the other movies, games, and uh, and the settings I have, and even the settings on the game mode as well. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post some questions. Uh, try to try to try my best to uh, answer them. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one.